Those of you that know me know that I love the TypeScript programming language. I love working with the internals of the compiler. And I'm actually an immigrant from the Indian subcontinent. And this particular programming language sparks my interest on all three accounts. So let's take a look. Now, of course, I'm talking about PyLang. Now, Lang has the same meaning that it has in, for example, Golang. And Bhai is a term that is colloquially used to refer to your male friend in the Indian subcontinent. Bhai translates to brother and you would use it the same way you would use mate or friend or literally bro in some other cultures. It's a toy programming language that is written in TypeScript. Now let's take a look at the default example that is present on the website. All code must exist between hi bhai and bye bhai, which literally translates to hi bro and bye bro. You can log stuff to the console with bol bhai, which translates to speak bro. And then when you want to declare a variable, you do that by saying bhai ye hai, which means bro, this is. And then we also have loops, which we create with jab tak bhai, which translates to as long as bro and then we also have conditionals which we declare with agar bhai which translates to if bro and then of course we have operators for comparison for example less than and double equal to along with operator for assignment as well as shorthand assignment for example plus equal to now this particular example we start off by logging hello world followed by logging the value of b in a loop which will go from 0 to 4 and when the value is equal to the value of a, which is 3, it will also log b is equal to a. And of course, when we run the example, that is exactly what happens. In addition to the stuff that is logged from Bolbhai, it logs this message called Shandarbhai, which stands for excellent bro. Now, there aren't that many more features to this programming language that aren't already covered quite nicely by this particular example. And in fact, all of the needed documentation for this particular programming language is contained within this page. For example, we've already seen that all code blocks must exist between hi bhai and bye bhai. Really, the only new piece of information within this section are a few more data types, one of which is nulla, which is a colloquial term for useless, which is what they are using for now, sahi, which means correct, which they are using for the boolean true, and galat, which means wrong, which is what they are using for the boolean value false. And if we scroll down just a bit more, we reach the end of the entire documentation. In addition to agar bhai, which means if bro, which we've already seen, they also have varna bhai, which means otherwise bro, which is what they are using for else. And for loops, they have jab tak bhai, which we've already seen, which means as long as bro. But in addition to that, they have agla dek bhai, which means look at the next one bro, which is what they are using for continue. And then there is the statement baskar bhai, which translates to please stop bro, which they are using for the standard break statement. And that's literally all there is to the programming language. So let's take what we've learned and create something useful. A common coding question that is given to beginning developers is to log n Fibonacci numbers. So let's solve that using bhailang. The nth Fibonacci number is simply the sum of n minus 1th Fibonacci number plus n minus 2th Fibonacci number. And to kick us off, the 0th Fibonacci number is 0 and the first Fibonacci number is 1. Now, of course, we will start off by creating hi bhai and bye bhai, and this will contain all of our code. We will create two variables, one to store the nth minus 2th value, which we will call piche se piche wala, and then we will create another variable, which will store the n minus 1th value, which we will call piche wala. And of course, we log both of these values after creating them by using bol bhai. For the current Fibonacci number, we will use this variable called ye wala, which we will kick off by initializing it to null, which is nulla. And then we have a loop variable called iskibari, which will maintain the index of this particular Fibonacci number. And then we have the index of the final Fibonacci number that we are looking for called akhribari, which we are initializing to 50 to get the 50th Fibonacci number. We have a simple loop using jab tak bhai, which will terminate when iskibari becomes equal to akhribari. And within the loop, we will update the current value of ye wala to be simply the sum of piche wala plus piche se piche wala. And then for the next iteration of the loop, we update the piche se piche wala to be equal to piche wala and update piche wala to be ye wala. And finally, before going into the next loop iteration, we log the value of the current Fibonacci number, which is ye wala. And that's the entirety of logging n Fibonacci numbers using bhailang. Now let's verify our code by running this. And when we run this, you can see the last value that we have is something like 12586. Now let's verify it by doing what all good developers do, which is put the question into Google and have it verify it for us. And of course, Google agrees, the value that we calculated using bhailang is indeed the correct value. That's all you need to know about bhailang, so you can start putting it in your resume and claim that you have five years experience because that is what recruiters want. 
Thanks for joining me. Be a bro, smash that like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.